Episode 15? 16? 15. 15. 15. Episode 15. We're back. We got a special guest today, Mr. Liam Cola. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Our Thank first you. our first uh, guest that I don't have diarrhea during. Yes. You have right. diarrhea during every day. Well, no, you didn't have diarrhea during Tony P, did you? No, I didn't. But when Zach and Waleed came on... Uh, I went. I was walking downstairs to go poop before the podcast, and it was one of those ones where I was like, "This is gonna be bad," and they intercepted me at the door. Oh! And so I was like, "All right, let's do it." And then I was sweating the whole time and like stand, like standing up and like had to like do stuff. And Will's looking at me like, "What is going on?" And then it ended, and I sprint. They were like, "Let's take a picture," and I just sprinted out of the room. I thought he got like nervous because we had a guest on for the first time. I couldn't <laughs> speak. I was like, I was I like, that he was like a huge Zach Biona fan, <laughs> <laughs> which I am. Which, which made, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, made it so much worse because they just thought I was like really awkward and weird. Yeah, they. Uh, I was with them last week, and they were like, "Dude, yeah, we thought it'd be funny to come up with, you know, make our sayings like sillier and more <laughs> stupid." And all the comments were like, "Fuck these!" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were, they Fuck got these ripped to shreds in our comments. <laughs> we, which I'm, is so funny because they were like guys that we've been watching forever that yeah. we were like super yeah. excited to have like on our show, and then they get our playdate fans <laughs> are like, "Fuck you, idiots!" Yeah. It's it was the first thing Zach said to me when he saw it. <laughs> <laughs> right up the media. I don't. I don't. I also don't think that they had seen like sayings before so they like didn't know what to do and then also were like let's do make him like extra silly like he did one that was yeah. just like one word yeah and it was uh it was def- it was a funny i mean we had a great time i think people enjoyed the episode but the people who were like loyal to the like the, the structure of it yeah. were not happy but uh this will also having you on will be big for all the people another common thing in our comments is like these guys like want to be almost Friday. They literally replicated the studio. Oh yeah, like they, <laughs> they think they, they think, think we, made we made a, a separate studio. studio. Yeah, that looks like your studio. So they did, dude. <laughs> uh, who, dude, oh, that's one diarrhea story. Hold on, I want to get to the bottom of the rest. <laughs> of the diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Was that I, one? What'd you say? Another diarrhea guest? No, we only had one guest. We only oh, had well, one guest. guest. Well, we had Tony P, but that was like. That doesn't count because we weren't here. So you've had diarrhea I've, one time. I've pooped my pants in front of Will twice. That's true. Now, yeah. I mean, I, do you remember when we were going to the Dodgers <laughs> game last summer? I mean, this is the all-time funniest one. <laughs> we're all going to the Dodgers game. Everyone meets at our oh, house. Oh god! That, and uh, we're all there's like six of us, and we're all waiting in the living room. We call an Uber. It's like one oh, of the, yeah. ten minutes. <laughs> it's like ten minutes away. So we're like, oh, okay, we're all sitting there. Blah blah blah. One minute away. All right, we should probably start heading outside. But he's like, oh, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Two seconds later, guys, guys, I shit my pants, <laughs> and he comes out of the he comes out of the bathroom just in his underwear, like he had instantly taken all his clothes <laughs> off, and uh, we had to go out and like tell the Uber, like, oh wait, 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 and then he comes out and he's like still buckling his belt as he get and he had his shoes in his hand. He got in the Uber barefoot. I remember that picture of you. Yeah, yeah there was yeah. a picture alongside. There was a point. Uh, so I was lying down on that like long couch, mm-hmm. and I like farted, and I was like. I was like, that one's like really lingering like around here. And and Sam Barrett was like, oh my God. And I was like, all right, we should probably go check on this. And then I, <laughs> and then I went into the bathroom and it was it was not good. There was one winter break where I did it twice. I came home from poops in one winter break. Ugh. My parents were like, what is, what are we doing here? Yeah, that's okay. Here's something <laughs> to, to segue into something. I just want, I just want, I'm going to forget it. <laughs> I was eating a pumpernickel bagel. Yeah. Yep. What the fuck is pumpernickel? I don't know. Mm. Well, I, I brought this up to you, and then we just didn't we didn't so, talk about it anymore. Right. And then me and Billy had the same conversation. I heard it in the I heard it across the office, but I wasn't listening to. So the it's context. like, what? Is, why is there just a bread that tastes like a little weird? So then I was like, let me get into the bottom of this. And then we were talking about how like, what does pumper or nickel even mean? Like, none of it makes any sense. Turns <laughs> out, we looked at the etymology. It means devil's fart. Isn't that fun? Oh. Why is it? But why do they make it? It because, doesn't taste uh, it good. It was made for peasants. It was like, it was like cheap and gross, and they gave it to the peasants back in the olden days. It was like mm. lobster, where it was like, yeah, it was like food for peasants that like slowly people started to be like, I kind of crazy. Like this. But they called it devil's fart because it was like shit food for the peasants. The prisoners in Maine until yeah. like very recently, like within the last like hundred years, yeah. We're like lobster. Lobsters yeah. were gross. They were like yeah, they were like disgusting. the, the uh, they, they still they, are. They still they're are. delicious. But they thought they they thought they were like uh, like the rats of the sea. They are. Yeah, they kind of are. Even if they're delicious, you can't deny they're the rats of the sea. Title yeah. of the episode. 
Rats, Rats of the, of the sea. sea. Yeah, <laughs> boom. Should we? Wait, should, you guys think lobster's gross? I thought no, it was I like love a, lobster. Like a delicacy. It is it now. Is now. It, it wasn't. It. I don't eat any seafood. But I I, yeah, we That's both don't. Crazy. Neither of us yeah. eat seafood. I was at all. Did you? Didn't you have a seafood bisque with me like three days ago? <laughs> <laughs> no. who, who was that? What? Oh, it was my mom. Never mind. <laughs> what the fuck? I was. It was in Boston, what? and it was. It was when Willie and I were spending all that time <laughs> together, and I remember someone passing it across the table to me. And I guess for some reason, Will and my mom are interchangeable. <laughs> that's a crazy thing. Like, dude, didn't you just have a seafood bisque with me? Like, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, no, my um, I've never eaten seafood and I summered in Cape Cod. Dude, yeah. you... In Charleston lived in Maine. And I never... spent my summers in Cape Cod. <laughs> How did you avoid seafood? It's delicious. Why have you guys not I've tried eaten, it? I've eaten. I've tried every kind of seafood. Yeah. Every year I try Do you like sushi? It. Nothing. No, I tried. I tried it. It's a texture thing for me. Okay. I think I can't lot. eat eggs either. Mm. What? All right, so we're slowly. Just, like, you have you just don't like you slimy. Have, shit. No, I don't you have like Asperger's shit in my mouth that I can't make sense of. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's what. That's what uh, yeah, that's, I mean, yeah. that's what. Uh, that's, that's why Will and I had to stop doing something together. What? Oral. Yeah. Mm-mm. He. Did, what did you say again? Or what were you thinking? Oh, you're talking about cum. Yeah. That's remember we were taking the online autism test in the car <laughs> last year. <laughs> I forgot we were driving, but remember we just kept missing that fucking like exit to get to the yeah, yeah. subway. Yeah, and uh, I, we were like, "Oh, this is so funny!" And then you got your score, and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and so I took it, and I was like, "This is gonna be." First question was like, "Can you not eat some foods based on like, how they feel in your mouth?" And I was like, "Damn!" All right. <laughs> Those questions were stupid though, because it was like things <laughs> that <laughs> they were, they were guy who failed the autism. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. F- I didn't fail it. It's not you don't you don't fail because there wasn't a single question about a train. Well, no, like like I feel like you can objectively say I'm not like like I'm not like an autistic person, and that score. I don't think you can say that. Really? No, the, that score. That, that score was I mean, like anyone could say that. I guess that score was sky high, and like I'm like yeah, a pretty like pretty like pretty functioning. It was, it was, it was like 111. 111. Yeah, I remember it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, like to put it in perspective, Tyler is a 109. Tyler's easily more than me. I mean, yeah. yeah I guess I don't really know like the maybe definition. it's not a more or less thing. It's Tyler just would, a, Tyler would cheat his answers though because he <laughs> likes being like an autistic artist director guy. Yeah, fuck you, Tyler. But I, I don't th- I don't think that I, like what's I wasn't. The, what's the the max? I think the highest is like probably like like <laughs> it was, like, it was creeping creeping up there. I bet it was like two hundred or something. Maybe yeah. like like so. Who was the one of the girls in the office took it and got a nine and everyone was like fuck you a nine. Yeah, it was. Like or something. No, it was like a. No, I want to take this. You would get a you would zero. Do pre- I, you no, would get you a, might do you a solid. A, you would get a zero. Wait, you were going to say you might do well. What would be like? Well? <laughs> like I think you I could see you putting up a like solid fifty sixty. And, yeah. Like I, I don't think you would be totally fine. Like she's always like nervously eating little foods during our podcast. Like, she's not nervously doing it. She yeah, makes lunch before it, before the podcast and then eats it into the microphone. Well, not into the mic. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's like the only like for the audio listeners. That's the only thing they know about Lauren. Yeah, it's just we always talk about it. She's eating. Dude, Emily eats all the time too, and she brings in remember those uh, plastic bowls they would eat cereal with with yeah. a straw built into it. Oh, no, she just, she just what? sucks milk out of a bowl the entire. Episode. Oh, it's nuts. Wait. She's like she, did she bring that from home? I guess. Do you remember when Emily, I used to watch before we like moved out here, I would, my like Liam and Angus like content was like I would watch their podcast because was, I wasn't seeing them every day. And at Wait, their, I thought they didn't have a podcast. Oh, oh, you mean this past year? Like, like a couple months ago. Oh, okay. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and for a while, Emily like didn't have a camera. Mm. And like there were like rumblings about like it's coming soon. And I was like, that would, that's got to be so nerve wracking to like. Yeah have someone and i don't think there was anything bad because she's like normal looking but like imagine if she was just like a ghoul or yeah, something yeah. <laughs> like, no, that been, like, didn't they call you a ghoul in the comments someone called lauren oh, no no, no. someone called someone called lauren ghoulish but i don't think they meant appearance wise they meant like okay, like in I the mean, way that you carry yourself i kind yourself. of have like a deeper voice and like someone commented and they were like she sounds so ghoulish it's something else too i was like oh shit i don't think you sound ghoulish you yeah. might have a ghoulish energy about you yeah, well, like, what is that, what is that I could see you a little mysterious. I could okay. see you perched yeah. on like a like a top of a skyscraper. Yeah, I could see you like <laughs> like that. Why did they? Why did we I'll stop doing that. that? Those are so Our funny. Bills? Yeah. Oh, like on the top of buildings. It's just like too expensive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's they're it's, all, they're so expensive. They're, they're like all, a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all over the Denver airport. 
That one's weird. Dude, yeah. Don't get Liam. Let's not get let's not get Liam started on the weird we, videos he watches. Liam, Liam and I were in the Denver <laughs> airport and he went one way and we all went the other way. And he was in like a different line and sent me this video and it was like a ghoul talking to him in the airport. Like saying like weird shit. What do like, you mean? Wait, the what? end is coming. Talking to you? I have the video somewhere, it's shocking. What? Was what it supposed mean? to be talking to you? It was like an animatronic? I don't know. It was just like I watched it with my own two eyes. It's it literally it's it was like the end is I'm not like we're not like, the Denver airport's like the I went no, I mean, one they, way and had to go it was one of the busiest days at the Denver yeah. airport in the last year. It was on the news. That's how busy it was. In the line was a year uh, like a, a mile long. A year long. <laughs> or a mile both are crazy. It, no, it actually was a mile long in the fucking airport. That's why it was on the news and shit. It was That's insanity. For security? Yeah. Did you make that flight? Yeah, crazy. doesn't make any sense. Crazy, I made that flight. Anyways, nobody cares about my travel. We were in the <laughs> we talk about travel yeah. a lot. <laughs> too much. We were in the clear Wait, line. Continue this gargoyle. I'm so confused. oh yeah, I yeah. don't understand like what you saw. Like it's it was a gargoyle on the wall. Like, I don't know where you got where, that he was speaking. <laughs> oh no, 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 this one, I, this one has literally. You haven't seen the one of them speaking. Yeah. There's, there's I was just running with that. Oh no! Was, I did send you a picture of a gargoyle, but it was. I'm thinking uh, of a different one. Then there's a there's a gar quiet. there's yeah. a gargoyle in the den. <laughs> Look this up, Warren. There's a gargoyle in the Denver airport that is like, the end is near. Look up talking gargoyle Denver airport. <laughs> Have you guys seen the mo- uh, the TV show Slow Horses? Oh, you keep asking it. me this, and I mean, we never. No, no, and then we it's never like. I've and, never brought it up. I just really? it for the first time last night. Someone brought it up to me, and then we. What? Got, what is it? It's it's like a. It's like a Rusty. spy thriller kind of gargoyle. Thing. Like gargoyle in Denver airport. You like, would really talking. like it. Yeah. I, I just started the third season. Apparently, yeah. they're all seasons look at this are guy. kind of different. But the look at this guy. It's about like government conspiracy. Go shows. to the go to videos. Ch- Ch- chatty, Plus. no, 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 chatty gargoyle. Go back. Oh, so this is like an animatronic thing, then. I don't. I I'm not positive that that's I what love is happening. Saying the word animatronic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what. It, what else you say? It ta- I don't know if there's gonna be thumb. Welcome yeah, look to at it. Illuminati him. headquarters. I mean, you're telling me that's fucking Illuminati. animatronic? That looks so real. <laughs> well, it's cl- it's not like what someone else is it? Okay. It's, yeah. it's what, what are you talking it? about? And he goes, "The end is near." It's like they're pl- they're. He just leaning. said, "Welcome to Illuminati headquarters." Yeah, they're like leaning into the bit. Like they clearly put that. There. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe that. <laughs> maybe they had a gargoyle and this they were is like, like caught on camera. No one is supposed to see this. They had a gargoyle and they were like, "Let's hide him in the only place everyone. It would be too bold to hide him." They're like, we have to put him here because no one will believe will it. Assume it's an no one will believe him. All right. Should we listen to some pitches? Anyways. Yeah, we can listen to some pitches. All right, Lauren. Yeah, let's do it. Lauren, last week's last week's were pretty fucking brutal. I, pretty bad. I hope you I hope you combed through these a little bit. I like that you like qualified in the description of the last episode and said, in a rather strange episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um Lauren Lauren was not given a uh, it, it was like Lauren combed through and found the three strangest pitches, and uh, also Will and I were not feeling well. The lobotomy one shook me to my core. Okay, in yeah. my defense, we that one is actually maybe the best. We haven't been getting that yeah. many, but we haven't been getting that many. No, we got to post more clips of pitches. I think. Yeah. Okay. We're just yelling at Lauren <laughs> yeah. on the podcast. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying that's you gotta on. Post more clips okay. of that's pitches. on all of us. That's hey, on ghoul. all. Of us. Hey, ghoul. <laughs> that's on all of us. That we tell. We oh, hold on. I think that's on. definitely not on. Not on Lauren. Yeah, we tell Lauren what to clip. Where'd that's, you get this? LL Bean. This LL Bean isn't nice. Okay, I'm we, on fire let's, right let's now. Let's jump in. All right, yeah, let's you're probably. Fine. I'm right. so fucking hot, but I'm not taking it off. Pitch submissions. We're starting with Brad Willard. There we go. So be d- be he dumb. calls this the Steelorama, and he says, "So for some reason, I wanted to arrange a heist of some sort just for fun, but couldn't really think of anything. Then I thought, what if you had an escape room, but you're breaking in instead of out? I'm thinking there would be a Ooh. big paintball type arena with fake guards around." employees and like some vault you got to get into you and your team get info on the layout of the map and how to bypass different locks you have a set amount of time to come up with the plan sneak into the vault and sneak out i also thought you could make it competitive by having multiple teams if you rush through your plan you get a head start on breaking in but higher chance of getting caught and vice versa I don't know about you, but that would be so much fun. I'd pay so much to do that. I am so in on this. That's that's one of the better ones Wonderful. we've ever heard. One of the better ones we've ever yeah. heard. Wow. Um, 
I would love to just talk shop with that guy. That yeah. guy that guy has big fucking plans. I what love other ice. ideas are you cooking up there, Willard? Yeah, does Willard has he said yeah, anymore? Willard. <laughs> no, that was the first DM. Yeah, he's I, fucking I ever tell you about my heist I did in college? <laughs> I was I, no. I love heists. I mean, I think we all do, right? Yeah. And I was I had the opportunity to execute one where uh my I had rented a laptop from the school library and I'd like forgotten to return it and i got an email and it was like <laughs> you owe the co- like it's too late to return it you owe us a thousand dollars to replace this macbook oh. i was like i'm not i don't have a thousand dollars like i'm not doing this so i figured out i i like went through the course reserves on the library website and figured out two books like they had like uh books that are right behind the librarian that aren't like off in the yeah, shelves yeah, there's yeah. like some class relevant ones so i figured out two that were on the far left side i sent two of my i wore a suit in case someone caught me so it seemed legit, and I stole a name tag of an employee there off the wall. And then I sent my buddies up to the two librarians that were working, and they checked out two books that were on the far left side, so it sent both librarians around to the left side while I snuck through and put my laptop back into where all the laptops are stored and then snuck back out. And then I left, changed, went back, and I was like, I got this bill for $1,000, but I returned that laptop. And the lady was like, Wait, let me see. She was like, "Oh yeah, it's right here." I am so sorry, and waved it. And that's right. a, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Heist. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it was like so detailed. All, awesome. You ever heisted? That's really impressive. I've heisted. I haven't heisted like that. It's always funny talking to your buddies that went to like smarter schools than you, and they're just doing cooler stuff. Like we were just like <laughs> not like that. Never, cr- it never crossed our mind to do anything like <laughs> noteworthy at no. school. You talk to you talk to kids that go to schools like Will's, and it's just like. Yeah, we like we like tricked Yale into like putting up the. Have you seen like the Harvard kids that like tricked Yale into holding up like we suck or like vice versa? No, that's they like that. mapped out like oh, yeah, we need yeah. to give the, like the people in the seats like white or red squares, and so when they held it up, it said like we suck. That's awesome. Yeah, or like the yeah, but we never had it. We never had too many heists in college. We had more schemes. I mean, we had, my buddy stole a bunch of workout equipment from the UMass football team. There we go. Like weights and stuff. It's a pretty sweet <laughs> home gym <laughs> setup. God, that uh, seems high risk. Like, where did, yeah. where did that's he, like he was shit faced when he did it? Oh my yeah. god. Uh, and then I'm trying to think. I knew I knew a kid who got kicked out or he suspended for a year because he blacked out, broke into the dining hall, and cooked an egg on the stove. That's and he got awesome. he got caught like cooking an egg. <laughs> I uh, I'm not gonna not gonna name names. But you guys both know him. When we were at when we were at Ron's, we're coming home from the bar and. Uh, and he lived in the room across from me. We like weren't like really that close yet, but I was already home and he was coming back and he stole a you know those like Roman like statues, like the or, like Greek, like the white ones where it's like a you know, like a, a like an egg. Like a bust? Yeah, kinda. And he to this day like doesn't really know how he got it back to his room. And uh their coach basically sat everyone down and was like Yes, yeah, so we got a we got some ring camera footage. He was like, I don't really know which of you guys it was, but he's like, I know it was you guys. Like, you have to return this bust to these people, and I don't know if they ever did. But for like a couple weeks, like in his dorm room, there was like this elegant, like Greek woman That's in the corner. Insane. Where was, was, where did he get it from? He st- it was it, it was like kind of the centerpiece of someone's like entryway to their house, like on the way home from the bars. Uh, it was like next to the sidewalk, and there were two of them, and like him and another geez. lad that I'm not going to name took it home. Respect. I, yeah. All right. Let's let's see. I got one more high story. All right. Let's yeah, hear it. <laughs> I think you know this. You, I probably told you both, but uh, it was this <laughs> remain nameless who was involved in this, but uh, a certain my high school football team was uh, like playing for the state championship. And we were in the Dana Farber practice center. Okay. Uh, outside of Gillette. That means not. Yeah. I felt like a say. sponsorship. <laughs> like, no, that's just like. I mean, the, yeah. Patriots, shout out Dana Farber. <laughs> that's where the Patriots practice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And so we're warming up in there, and all of the Patriots gear, practice gear, yeah. was just lying around, including a coat rack with travel <laughs> jackets on it. That's it. And so my buddy goes up to this. He's injured. He's not playing. Goes up to the coat rack and just looks through and just sees this winter coat on the field, worn winter. Yeah. Coat, B. Belichick and the thing. That's oh, so this, sick. Bill Belichick's winter jacket. Now it's mine. Yoink. And then just, they had duffel bags for <clears throat> equipment and shit and just started loading up bags. And uh, <laughs> they found out. Oh, my God. Immediately. Yeah. Also, everyone at school found out immediately because he wore it to school. Yeah. And was walking around bragging about it. Uh, Did he get in trouble? No, we just had to give, we had to give it all back. 
That's it, though? Yeah. That's kind of sick. Yeah. Dude, isn't that, a, like, after every Super Bowl, like, people steal shit? Yeah, like, Brady. Tom Brady's jersey? Well, it's that it's one, stolen. it's that one, like, Mexican reporter, yeah. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Yeah. This is just high school kids. Yeah. 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 I actually didn't. Hi, sir. I, we're, we, we forgot about how, we need to go back really briefly, and what was his name? Brandon Willard? Brad. Brad Willard. Well, I don't think it was one of my favorite pitches. Yeah, we didn't really touch on it. But like it sounds like, like a blast. Paintball guns being incorporated too, where you like, you could like shoot the guard and like, yeah, like you can go by force or you can try to be witty. <laughs> it's like when you're trying to. Steal Those are the, the two options. Oil cart in Red Dead Two. I haven't seen that. Play All right, that? let's All right. hear the second pitch. Pitch number two is from Delaney Jersh. Um, DG. She says pitch. <laughs> Hey, boys, you ever lay in bed restless over the fact that we all have memories that we will never remember again? This is the high life reel. Want a highlight reel of your high school years? Yes. Every hangout. <laughs> <laughs> I want a highlight reel of your high school years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every hangout memory, every random house party you went to, and every joke made. Here you go. Blacked out last night. Here's a reel of the good memories of the night in detail. Yeah. Disclaimer not meant to bring up the suppressed memories or to cause anxieties, just highlights and good vibes. So it scrubs through and it makes sure it's not. So I, I'm in a weird uh, uh, situation where I have, like, so much footage of me drunk. Like, I walked in and Tanner's just like, Tanner gets to watch my whole night from Lucas's point of view. And, like, yeah. the majority of it, I'm like, if I saw that guy, I would not want to be. It's me, like, face melting this old lady with an air guitar. And, like, it's, funny. it's funny for five seconds. I, there, it goes on for 15 minutes. <laughs> and, like, I'm, like, trying to give her it. Yeah. But I like that. I don't know if I'd want to relive, like, all of it, but I think a a, a quick like sizzle reel of of me doing some pretty cool stuff would be fun. Yeah, I don't know if I, I, I feel like I remember the things I want to remember. Yeah, I, I would I wouldn't mind uh, if we go earlier. You know, fifth, fourth through seventh grade summers hanging out with my yeah my, my, my yeah. boy Matt in the woods. What, what what were we doing? That's a good point. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I actually that for like early childhood stuff that'd be beautiful, like fun beautiful. memories of playing with yeah. my, my dad in the yard and stuff. Yeah. Oh. I dude, I, I uh, last time I was home for Thanksgiving, I just randomly smoked a joint. And was like, I'm gonna go through my just old shit and yeah. this old bin of shit that I had rode in third and fourth grade and stuff in a bunch of old pictures that I never would have ever seen had I not gone, gone in there. Yeah. And the gems that I found. Yeah. Like, I found this short story I wrote in third grade about uh, a samurai, a boy, a white boy <laughs> training to be a samurai. A white boy. <laughs> my dream at the time. A corked and up white boy. Just about you. And yeah. the samurai master that I, I had <laughs> illustrated. Electric. Rough. <laughs> racist. <laughs> so racist. <laughs> and it's a third grader, so I didn't... <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> uh, we just too? recently found my brother had a drawing of the nativity scene. Oh, and, I saw this. Oh yeah, you saw I was it. at Will's house when you found this. Wait, wh- when were you at my house? Uh, before we went to Boston. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We, my mom was like, "Can you go get that picture? Sam wants us to bring it to him." <laughs> it, he drew big, big old boobs on Mary. <laughs> like it was like a nativity scene that it was like colored in, yeah. and the only thing he drew was like. Joseph's hair and Mary's boobs. <laughs> yes. Fuck, he's going to hell. I um, I was telling. I've already told Liam this before, but I don't t- think I've told you this story. Do you guys have those like boxes, like with like your like trinkets and stuff? Like I have like photos and like yes. weird like memory knickknacks. Box. Yeah, memory box. Yeah. yeah. And my buddy um, uh, was going through his, and there was like a screw or something, and I was like, "What is that?" And he was like, "Uh." Yeah, when I asked out my, it, this we, they were like in like middle school or something. He asked out his girlfriend on this swing set, and he went back and unscrewed one of the bolts and took it home. And it was like, I was like that's, that's an insane. Move. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you Wait, get married, they... I guess that's cool. But <laughs> yeah, are they still together? No, they broke up in like high school. Oh. But that's um, crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. just like a, it's like it doesn't seem like that was a part of the memory. Like I wouldn't see that screw and be like that was yeah, holding yeah. the whole thing together. I went through mine, and one of the better ones, better things I had was uh, there were all these beer pong balls with, like, dates on them. And apparently it was, like, every party I threw in high school, I forgot we would do this, we would write the date on one of the balls and put, it, and put, it, put it in there. And be like, <laughs> it was cool. It was, like, it was like it like had someone's, like, initials on it, and it would be, like, whoever, like, 
I don't know. I was in like like ninth grade, but it was fun. I liked it. It was fun. I was like, I wonder what that one was, and I went my Snapchat memories and looked up that date. And you're like, oh, that was a remember that. That was a fun one. Specific event. Yeah, that is fun. Mine, Uh, mine, (laughs) fun. Were you gonna say something? No, mine. Yeah, no. I thought of a Christmas heist that jogged my memory of my apple. <laughs> you have tears in your eyes right now. I was laughing about that, too. <laughs> I don't think that's that stupid. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> uh, but my, my buddies in high school, one winter, just decided to drive around every weekend for about three months and slash uh, blow up Christmas. <laughs> what? what do you call those? Decorations, I guess? Yeah, like uh, oh lawn lawn oh ornaments. Yeah. It's like deba- diabolical. It was horrible. It's like <laughs> ruining <laughs> children's yeah. childhood. And I never went... Because I was like, you guys, this is the one. Th- I'm like, you guys are a piece of shit. This like, is where I draw the line. And they got caught, dude. They got uh, just some. I forget how they got caught, but uh, they got someone on camera and figured out who it was. And then one day they're hanging out, thinking shit's sweet. And my buddy <laughs> it just gets a knock at the door. <laughs> He's like, I can't say the name. Like, <laughs> over. And all the parents found out. And I, is it like the cops, or is it just like. Uh, no, it was just it was the parents. Was parents he spreading were, these crimes out, or were they just like all in your town, dude? They were just <laughs> a- around towns, just going around and doing it. Uh, and I remember all the all the friends' parents speaking about how they couldn't believe that their, <laughs> their Catholic school boys would do this, and I didn't do it. And they called my mom, and I was like, I didn't fucking do it. Let's That's go. Awesome. Wait, how great. did you prove you didn't do it? I was just—I I was never there, I, and no one yeah. implicated you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You need to get an alibi. Yeah. Why were they like? Who hurt them? Why were they that mad? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a different. The more you yeah. hear about Liam's childhood, it that's, was for fun. It was not an angry it's just, thing. It's just like a weird. No, you guys weird, did weird shit. It was though. just like driving around, uh, hitting a mailbox. With yeah, I guess no it's one kind of actually like yeah. does that. Signs or like, yeah. Yeah. no one actually did that. My buddies did Happened mailboxes, but not you hit mailboxes. Based no, it's I have. It was like we'd do it on foot. Just like push them over. <laughs> there's yeah. there's there's a really funny one where it's um it's another kid that I've definitely like told the name. It's one of the whatever, and, and it's him running. And the video starts. It's just black. And you can like faintly see like the outline of a mailbox. And then like I think he thought there was gonna be less mail in it. <laughs> <laughs> and when he when he hit it, it's like it was like this person had not checked their mail in like seven years. It just goes everywhere and it f- went all the way forward and then all the way back and slapped him and threw mail like all over the street. Jesus Christ. All right, let's hear the final. Uh, oh my God, this is going to be right. the longest episode ever. I right know. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. No, it's okay. Right? I, I think it's great. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Delaney. Last one is from Axel Seitz. There we go. <clears throat> Seats. It's a great name. Uh, business idea, Pulio, and he has been submitting this for like months on end, and I feel bad that I've never actually read it. Wait, like over and over again? No, we've been getting it on multiple platforms, and for some reason, I just like. All right, we're ready. Uh, here, here we go. Okay, have you ever been a little too boozed up and wanted nothing more than to take a dip into the pool, or maybe you're hungover, but it's your turn to watch the kids and make sure they don't drown? That's where Pulio comes in. Pulio is a drowning prevention system that ensures even your drunkest boys will be safe getting their feet wet. Pulio has sensors on the bottom of the pool to detect drowning, and if it's triggered, the the bottom of the pool rises up like a strainer, <laughs> raising the body of the drowning to the air <laughs> where they can finish their nap. It's honestly... <coughs> it's not a horrible I, idea. It's not really solving a problem I've ever had. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess that, that's, my, that's kind of where I land as well, is like, it would prevent a lot of, like, children deaths... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it just seems like wait. It doesn't drain the pool though, right? No, it just lifts the bottom. I was picturing like the floor came up oh. and just like like flooded your lawn. No, I it's just it's like, like a straight. Yeah, that's just, what yeah. I was picturing. There's yeah, <laughs> this that is was like, like great idea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even. Th- I forgot about the water. As I thought it would just be a net that would just go. Yeah, yeah I think it, that's it what he said. Is although okay. it's more, probably more solid, but yeah, I guess no, you I mean, have to wait. I think that's like a would save lives. Yeah, yeah. It has to wait for them to be on the. Bottom though, or dog? No, it has oh. a sensor. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as a dogs, as a yeah. pool boy, yeah. dogs. as yep. a former pool boy, <laughs> I could tell you that would fucking. You're a pool boy for two summers. I had my own truck. You didn't know this? Have oh. you? Ne- I know this. Yeah. Have you never shared That's the video really of that funny. guy fucking? Oh, doggy paddling. Oh my god. What? Yeah. We're oh, this is my favorite. I think about this video all. It's the time. so funny. You gotta pull it up. We'll oh. play it on the. All right. Pod for video only listeners. 
Cool. <laughs> okay, the caption, I'm going to slag it to you. The caption is why he swim like that. Okay. Oh, good. This is a video I took. Slag to Brian. So I am. Did any of you guys have pools growing up? Yeah. Nope. No. Did you have one at your house? No. Yeah. My buddy did, and I would go, did you never swim in your pool? Uh, my buddies did. I, I, I would, I would sit around it. I would, uh, my buddy Bigo would sleep in our pool house during the summer. And so I would sleep there with him sometimes. And what was going on in his life? Sleep with, uh, we would just like get drunk and like, this was like, we were like, like very anti drunk driving. So he would just sleep at our house. Got it. Good for you guys. That's um, good. all right. I slacked it to Brian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Let me give let me give context. Let me give context. So he so basically there was there were the the light at the head of the pool like went out and it's like a pretty easy fix, right? Yeah. Easily could have done this without getting in the pool and just insisted on Is this a coworker? This is, this is my coworker. Got it. Who uh there was some other stuff right. going on with him, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is That's it. it? That's it, dude. <laughs> I, I think about that video twice a month. There is it's a, like graceful it's as hell, kind of. It's so fucking So funny. what he what he was doing was was <laughs> was why he swim like that. Why he swim like that. Um that was also the coldest pool I've ever touched. And he just stripped he was also this was the first pool we went to, so he was soaking wet for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you um, always travel around with like a So I had to go with this guy because my friend John O'Connor quit. And fucked me. And John was this guy's assistant, and I had my own truck because it was my second year. And then John quit, and I had to go back with this guy. And it wasn't this guy's fault. He was actually funny to be around. But it was just so such long hours that I texted our boss the next day. John and I were drinking wine at my house, and I was like, I'm quitting. And I texted the guy, and I was like, I, I can't come in. And he just goes, don't do this to me, man. Like, if one more guy quit, like, it was like, yeah. they were, everyone was fucked. And so, yeah, Did he I talk you out of it? No, I kind of fucked my boys. Damn. All right. Should we pitch each other? All right. Thanks for the submissions, peeps. All right, elephant in the room. I've got new jeans. My second pair of jeans ever. So you can't make fun of me for only having one pair because I got these new ones and they're fucking sick. Where are they from? They're from our friends at Muggsy Jeans. Okay. They sent them to me and I couldn't be happier. Muggsy makes damn comfortable clothing for guys everywhere. They are not too baggy, not too tight. And they have over 18,000 five-star reviews from dudes of every shape and size, even my shape and size, your shape and size. There's Strangely so many... enough. Yeah. Uh, but no, they, in, in all seriousness, I mean, not that that was serious. They look they are They're incredibly comfortable. I've actually worn them two days in a row now. Um, and they might be my new hot jeans, my new going out jeans. You Any new jeans would be your new jeans. Would be an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, this is now my third <laughs> pair of pants. Um First time customers can get 20% back on their first order right now. All you need to do is head to MugsyJeans.com and enter your email, and the discount code is automatically added to your cart. That is 20% back, guys, on the only jeans and pants you will ever wear again. Free shipping and free returns on every single order, so the only risk is never knowing how great they truly are. Guys, Check out Muggsy. They're awesome. Back to the episode. My hands are probably slime. Let's yeah, pitch each other. I don't know. I sweat my hands. Someone told me it really clammy. Was... You have Ruh. clammy. Well, hands. your 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 sweaty hands cancel out my driest hands in the world. Oh, there we go. Yep. And that is why we have a podcast. That's why we have a podcast together. I don't know. Where All right. Oh, I got them. All right. We got you. Got a business pitch? No, I got. I got. I went to bed after I did sayings. And <laughs> All right. Well, do you want to hear we'll, our pitch? Yeah, yeah, we'll pitch yeah. you. You're, you're Mark Cuban, and it's done. And Damon John. Say Damon? It's his name. Isn't it Damon? No, there's a D at the end. Cool. <laughs> Damon. All right. On my pool. All right. I got no problem with that. Trapdoor laundry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Trapdoor laundry. Let's hear Trapdoor laundry. Your whole room is a trapdoor. You can just toss your laundry on the floor, and then when you leave your room, you just click a button. Floor opens up, collects all your laundry. And seals your, right back up. And what happens? Yeah. What happens to like your bed? And no, desk? it's only f- it's it's like a designated like it's like an open section of your floor, and you can just toss your shit on the. What if like the what if like your cats walking around in your room? I don't have cats. It just gets washed. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. dog just comes out clean. No, I don't think it even necessarily washes it. It just stores it. Too too cute. 
too cute of an idea. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're trying to be too cute right now. All right, you ready? Ooh, go ahead. Ready for a real one? Ooh. Ready for ready for a, ready for a real man's pitch? Yeah. NFL lottery. So after you become a sophomore in college, you are now there's, <laughs> there's one team in the league that is just average Joes, okay. and you're eligible for the draft once you're uh, past a sophomore in college, and you have to serve for one year, and then it's just a new batch of guys every year, and you get to watch these like. Just get you ever wondered what destroyed. like what would happen to like normal guys? They die. They would, yeah, you no, would, people would die. No, I'm like, not even kidding. They would like people would die left and right. Okay, so in this scenario, they don't die, but they do get like really hurt. Okay, if Miles Garrett, do you see him pick up that helmet up. the other day against the yeah. Steelers, and everyone's like, whoa! <laughs> it's all the Who did? Miles, Miles Garrett? Garrett picked up a Steelers helmet. And the last time he did that, he fucking yeah, bashed Mason, Mason Rudolph. Rudolph. Yeah, yeah. All right, what do you got, Willie? All right, I've got <clears throat> hamster coffee. <laughs> It's like, you know how hamsters drink out of the little mm-hmm. thing? It's like one of those next to your bed. That was cute, Lawrence. No, no, I'm just a picture. Not that. I'm just picturing hamsters know. doing that. You love that. this. No, I had hamsters growing up, and they were the cutest yeah, little of guys. Did they, of did course they eat each other. Hamsters? No, but... Isn't that crazy? I just found that out. What, I they, taught they, one they of them to climb up the stairs. Each other. You taught them to what? I taught one of my hamsters to climb up the stairs. How small were your stairs? Uh, no. Or how high could this hamster jump? How small? <laughs> no, they were just like normal stairs, but they had carpet, so I would like take my finger and he would like follow my finger up the How'd he go up yeah, the side? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he would walk on walls? No, he would cling onto the carpet and like go up. Was, was your hamster Tom Cruise? Yeah, I One guess. time I lost, we lost a, a Maria Waterfield's hamster. Who's Marie Marine? Waterfield? Maria Waterfield was our neighbor across the street and she went out of town and she <laughs> left it in my sister's care. And one morning Laura. the hamster was gone and we were all like oh my god but my mom never wanted to have in the first place hates animals especially rodents so it was like a whole pact like nobody tell mom that we lost the hamster maybe your mom actually did yeah your mom (laughs) have you seen those memes where it's like me when my friend hands me their hamster and it's someone like it's like uh like john carlos stanton like throwing a baseball (laughs) (laughs) it's so funny (laughs) um i would eat yeah yeah so what's hamster coffee Oh, well, I was also going to say that then that dinner we did roses and thorns at dinner. You ever do that? <laughs> yeah. Like, my mom no. was like, the Obamas like, what's your, do it. What's your rose and thorn? It's like it's your like rose, rose and thorn of the part. day. And I accidentally was like, my thorn is when we lost Maria's hamster. <laughs> and everyone was like, oh. and then I panicked and I went, and my rose is when we found it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I did, you, did you guys find it? No, no, no. We never found it again. What did you tell oh, Maria? It's presumably dead in my house somewhere. I don't know. We told her exactly what happened. But it was more, I was more scared of my mom than Maria. I mean, that was my sister's yeah. thing to deal with. You know Maria. what? I think it probably got out, and it's probably living some... It's probably living the, living the probably high got, life. Probably got bitten right. half by a fox. Hamster coffee is up, it's up by your bed, and it's just like <laughs> in the morning when you wake up, you need, like, I feel like I need that first bit of caffeine to get me out of bed and get the day going, so it's just like a little nozzle that you can lean over. Can you put anything in it? Yeah, you That'd be, imagine like waking up hungover and there's uh, glacier freeze Gatorade in there. Bingo. Oh. Or a mimosa. Yeah. This oh. morning, I this morning I woke up and I had put a glass of ice water next to my bed and I've I literally like thanked myself. I was like, you, what were you getting into last night? No, no, it wasn't from a hangover. It was like I wasn't feeling very well. Oh, I had yeah, seven yeah. beers last night. Also, <laughs> <laughs> some beers. What? what With that doing? guy? Uh, no, me and my roommate. No, 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 no. This was in my. This was in the confines of my own home. Me and Ty Stimmel. Watched one tree. Watched two episodes of One Tree Hill, and I had seven beers. That is, I, it's, yeah, respect. Come yes. back to that later. What do you say? We'll come back to that later. Oh yeah. Um. One, all right. One Tree Hill. I got. Oh, are you a One Tree Hill guy? You put. Well, I told you I hadn't seen it since high school, but after watching that episode with you in Boston. Oh yeah. I. Uh, it's fucking. It's a great show. It's it's involved in one of my things. Okay. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I got the time travel camera. So, um, you can take a picture of anything, right? And then you plug in a date and it'll show you what that frame looked like during any time. So example, take a picture of the ocean, 1713, golden age of piracy. And you would see, you would see like ships looting each other and shit. Take a picture of the empire state building and type in 1930. Here the empire state building was built. You would see it like halfway up. Wow. That is awesome. awesome. Did you memorize those for this? Yeah, you, I knew those off the top of my head. You knew the golden age of piracy off the top I of your will head? Say, I will. Yeah, I knew that. I will say. I, autism I, test is making more sense. I yeah. will. I will say. I will say. I looked up. I looked up the Empire State Building one. I've listened to enough pi- podcasts about pirates that I'm well aware of that. I never for a second doubted you knowing 
the golden piracy <laughs> yeah that's true all right well i had telescope glasses <laughs> <laughs> which are just like i feel like they should just like ha like on your glasses you should be able to just turn a knob and just see stuff yeah like if you can use a telescope why not just have that built into some glasses yeah it's like that would be a no-brainer for like sightseeing and shit like you go you go to the grand canyon or the Peeping Toms. Peeping Toms. <laughs> <laughs> with love Mostly. It. I feel like, like people aren't peeping the same way they used to. People used to be in trees peeping. That's crazy. They I, would climb into trees and peep. I think On that, what? Like on like their neighbors. Like they would climb in the trees and like with binoculars like be like, is that crazy? Peeping? No one's doing that anymore. No. Did people used to do that a lot? Or like, like the in 50s? The that was, in the 50s, yeah. that was running. Before really? internet porn, dude. Yeah, there was way more Get the fuck out of that town. That was the golden era of Peeping Toms. Yeah. The 50s. <laughs> the 50s. <laughs> and what a wild name. Such a 50s name to peeping call Peeping Tom. Yeah. A, a predator. I mean, a peeping like, Tom. It's like, well, you, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's like, doesn't sound that bad. Like, <laughs> yeah. a, a sneaky Sam. Yeah. You raped five women. <laughs> yeah, peep. No, Peeping Toms look, they don't touch. But they just look. Okay. It's all thrill for them. Uh, yeah. I mean, wait, that was what? That was 20 years after they built the Empire State Building. So yeah. I guess they <laughs> did, you, uh, did you, what did you just pitch? I already forgot. Telescope, Telescope glasses. glasses. You and I sometimes will be like on very similar tracks and then you'll take a hard left and I'll take a hard right. Yeah. I had one the other day that it, there was a telescope that you pointed at someone and it would show them, it would show you how they would react if you killed yourself. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Right. I just, Are you all right? No. I good, just, dude? I was, I was just, I, you ever see someone, not kill yourself, but just die. Like if you're, if you're like, I wonder how, how that, yeah, I, would I think about that sometimes. All the time. I want I would love to watch my own funeral. I wonder if I'd get a grid post on the main page. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, we were having this debate. It was actually about Jerry. If Jerry, Jerry died, does one. he get a post yes. on Friday beers? Yes. You're like, yes. like main page, like Jerry Kana. <laughs> like, yeah, he'd get a main page post, and then we just like add to our story, and then the next thing after that would be like Rusty ranking Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, like me after. Yeah. Um, all right, I got I got Secret Service earpieces for everyday use. Okay. So you'd like be at the bar, and like all your boys are on the same radio frequency, and you'd be like. Where are you guys at? Like I'm, I'm in the bathroom. You guys want to, you guys want to go to the next bar? Dude, that's awesome. It that would, would actually be, be such so a fun. And then yeah. also, it's like a great conversation starter. Like, the well, last time I saw a guy with one was at the Kings game that I was telling you about, and I, I had to go up and ask him about it. Yeah, if you see a guy with a little clear, like wire the curly thing, in, you're like, it's fucking sick. I knew like girls in college that got all got walkie talkies, and they were yeah, that, that's but that's a, like that's way fun. more like. No, that's funny though. It's being, funny, but it's like if, if you're talking to someone and it's in their pocket, they're not going to hear you. Yeah, I just wanted to be able to do this. Yeah. It's always the middle finger with the whole hand still up. You'd never do this. It's, it's. Yeah. Clear. 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 All right. No, that sounds fun. Those, oh, yeah, are, be good. those are our pitches. Clear. Those are our pitches. Should we draft? Those, should, should, those were good. Who's That's would fun. you, who would you invest in more? Me or Will? You. Yeah. Today. Thank you. Sure. Sorry, dude. <laughs> All right. The, uh, are you trying to be, why are you trying to be so cute, man? That's just his thing. That's just dude. who he is. Act like you give a fuck. <laughs> All right, today we have sayings that don't guy. exist and video games that don't exist. Liam, you're the guest. Which one do you want to do first, video games or sayings? Wait, I, we were only doing three sayings, by the way. Yeah, well, because there's three of us. So yeah. Nine sayings. Let's do... Uh, let's do. Let's uh, also, for the record, I had five. Both of you guys wanted to do three. I only yeah. did three. Me too. Trans oh, wait, sayings? Yeah, I might have done five. Uh, I can't crank them out like I used to be able to. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you guys are doing too many an episode. I know. It's <laughs> insane. There's no, like, you're going to do these for a long time. I know. They Like, we have to put, like, hours and hours of prep into every episode. You got to just cut those numbers I mean, down, it's good. It's fun. It's fun. I know. It's the best part of our week. It, it is the, yeah. All right, do you want to do sayings or video games first, Liam? Video games. All right, we have video games that don't exist. Um. Okay, here's one. It's. Do we need names for them, too? Whatever the you video want. Games? Yeah, it, yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, like, like what, naming the game. Opposed to what? Just, Just describing. Like I don't oh, know. Yeah, I, I guess uh, either one is Well, fine. I have, okay, I don't know why you fucking asked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is called He's Too Old to Be Walking That Dog. It's an action RPG game uh, where you play an old guy who's really struggling to walk his young dog. His young dog's too <laughs> rough on him, and he's pulling it. He's pulling him way too hard. And he keeps saying, slow down. And uh, he's just ripping, like, the dog's going to tear his arm off his fucking body. Yeah, you're just, you're just an old so the too. game is just like you like press a button to like pull him in you, tighter or something. Yeah, but it's hard. Cause His center it's of really, gravity is a, like is it a really hard game? creeping forward. Yeah, it's a young dog. He doesn't listen. He's excited. <laughs> the squirrel runs by. Your guy character yeah. dies. <laughs> How do you in, win? 
I don't know. You don't. You don't. <laughs> it's it's like a duration game. It's like Flappy Bird. There's no like real yeah, goal. It's yeah. just like how long can you last? Mm. When I was in Amsterdam, there was the oldest man I've ever seen walking the cutest dog I've ever seen, and it was wearing a vest and it had I forget the name. It was like a very European name, like Fritz or like Franz or something. And the dog like could you could tell the dog knew like I can't push this guy too hard. Like it was just like trotting by his side. And then would stop and wait for him to catch up and then trot like five feet more. It was adorable. Aww. That is kind of cute. Sweet. All right, what do you got, Willie? I've got the Rainforest Cafe Simulator. <laughs> you own and operate a Rainforest Cafe and <laughs> business is struggling. So you have yeah. to keep the keep the clients impressed. And you're not impressing anyone at the Rainforest Cafe. That's I I love this. Yeah, that's, yeah, so that's pretty much it, I guess. Remember when we went to the Dude. Rainforest Cafe and we went to the Rainforest Cafe <laughs> at Niagara Falls. There we go. And dude, we had a romantic evening. That it was, was a lovely evening. A blast. When were the two of you in Niagara? We Falls we had to be in Buffalo for a Bills game last yeah. like September, and we like it was the night we got in. And it was like the only night we didn't have anything for work in Buffalo. And I was like, Liam, come on, we gotta go to Niagara Falls. Like, I was all in. I was yeah, all in. yeah, yeah. We're here, and so we we Ubered, Ubered to Niagara Falls. Forty five minutes to Niagara Falls. Went to the Rainforest <laughs> Cafe. <laughs> Got kind of drunk there, and then just went to the. <laughs> we <laughs> bought we bought high noons at the liquor store. Yeah, and just got shit faced. You can drink outside at the Niagara Falls. Yeah, we, we did. did. <laughs> we just smoked weed and walked and, around. Yeah. And that kid I met outside of the Niagara Falls <laughs> became like a friend. Really? Yeah, Brian. You remember that guy that was like playing cornhole outside of or outside of Rainforest Cafe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he came and visited me in Boston. Like we're st- we still talk every once in a while. He came and visited you or. In or Boston. he was in Boston and he yeah. like came to one of our events to like hang out with me and stuff. Yeah. We bought toys from the Rainforest Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> like little like dinosaurs, dinosaurs with yeah. heads. When my uh my most like swiped up you ever like post just like a fucking heater on your Snapchat story and like mm-hmm. I like never post them either, so and you get like a bunch of swipe ups and you're like, Okay, like I I compared to yesterday I'm now Snapchatting like forty new people. Yeah. I was at Niagara Falls and I posted a Snapchat and said more like Viagra Falls. And uh let's just say that was a hit. It was a hit. <laughs> Have you seen those people Smack. that those people that Photoshop their kids so it looks like they're standing on the railing at Niagara Falls and they send it to like the other parent? Yes, like, yeah, get him down from there. <laughs> um, oh, we also went to that jazz festival. There was a jazz festival oh, yeah. that day. It sounds awesome. Wait, question about Rainforest Cafe. Were there like a lot of people in there? I'm yeah. surprised it's still open. Dude, I think the, the one at Niagara Falls is probably like their flagship. <laughs> like, that's that, peak yeah. demographic <laughs> overlap. <laughs> like, <laughs> what, what, uh, we were. <laughs> I forgot what, what we were trying to do in there. Yeah. We were trying to make a video in there, or like we were trying to get a picture. We, oh, we got we have our picture. Oh yeah, we have, yeah, we have yeah. Pictures. There. It's actually a hysterical we, we picture. The, we asked like the bartender to take screen. pictures of us. I'll yeah, find, yeah, we'll find those. I wonder if there's one in LA. There definitely is. All right, I got Quidditch 2K24. <laughs> that, that sounds it's, fun. It's awesome. a it's a my player style. So you start at Snagglebrook, which is like a, a neighboring wizard college, mm-hmm. and like they're kind of like a like a mid-tier program and you're like the first big recruit they've ever gotten and you train and like upgrade like a my player style thing and then uh eventually you go and play like the hogwarts all-star that would be a fucking something. blast That's, yeah so wouldn't that be awesome. so fun there isn't a quidditch video game is there uh th- there might be one of those like indie ones but no one's doing it the way i'm envisioning can you it. play yeah. it in hogwarts legacy or whatever uh yeah, like very briefly. I, think. Okay. I don't. I think it's more of like you can like fly there. I don't think that. I don't think there are actual matches, but you can like fly and like yeah. dick around. That's probably. fantastic. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Thank you. Um, new Madden game mode. <laughs> uh, it's it's the same as franchise mode, except once a game you can sub in a kid with special needs at running back and get a free <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> That's great. Like the spring game, like when they put the... Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. You ever seen that old guy for Kansas in like cargo pants, like punch one in? Yeah. No. He fucking... He he had one more step. Like <laughs> if he didn't, he it, it was so close to not being able to do it. It's just him in cargo pants and he runs the ball. In. It is kind of OP. All right, what do you got, Willie? Um, I have Night at the Museum. I think that would be a really fun video game. That would be. It's- the Like the movie? Yeah, like you're Ben yeah. Stiller and <laughs> you're the main character and like the animals and stuff are coming alive and I just yeah. feel like there'd be so much opportunity for like like on one hand you're fighting a dinosaur, but on yeah. the other hand you're like appeasing the queen. Yeah. And That's like, gotta exist on like DS. I feel like that would be a very there'd just be so, there's so many different things that could happen in a museum. Like there'd be all sorts of very different quests. Oh, that was like my favorite movie. At, up. Not in the museum. One yeah. of them. Yeah. I, it kind of so scared fun me. to watch. Yeah, it was kind of scary. No, the part when they like disintegrated the um, 
What were they? The mummy. No, those are guys they watched the end of the hallway. The terracotta warriors. Yeah. <laughs> So. Whatever that of is. Of course you fucking. Yeah. Of course you had that. Yeah, one it was so sad. Was oh me. yeah, the largest buried army in the history of the world, and I'm the nerd. No, is that the, like the 300 Chinese statues? Yeah. Oh, that's a real thing. I yeah yeah, 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 yeah. okay yeah. Ter- Isn't that what they were? Yeah, I don't I know. I, was, I just haven't seen them. Long time. I. I'm, I if that's wrong, then I'm gonna really sound like a bozo. Um. All right, I got insider trader. You're like a first year analyst at some investment bank and mm-hmm. in order to move up in the ranks you have to discreetly commit financial crimes without uh-huh. getting caught and then if you um if you do get caught you have to like serve out a real sentence and now it's like a whole new video game where it's like you're the only white guy in this like f- max prison mm-hmm. and like they want that ass and they want it bad mm-hmm. and you gotta like you gotta oh, like do <laughs> shit to like you gotta stab people you gotta like maybe like Submit a little bit, and, <laughs> and then one white chocolate, white chocolate Lindell truffle <laughs> to go around. <laughs> oh my god! And Daddy's got a sweet tooth. All right, what do you got, Liam? Um, <laughs> Call of Duty, but the whole campaign is through the POV of Mike Beach, a Marine trying to readjust the civilian life after getting home from his third tour in Iraq. Uh, so you're just like pretty much coaching your daughter's soccer team mostly, <laughs> and then you become a cop at the end. Okay, I like it. You take like it out it. on like. Does it like it, you, you can do whatever you want? <laughs> do, you, do you have like flashbacks and stuff? Just like not really. You're just trying to adjust to not being in a constant state of an adrenaline rush, and you got to like give a fuck about getting the right type of milk for your family yeah. when you were trying to sit. You were previously, you know, watching your friends die. Yeah. yeah. No, that sounds like a blast. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've I've got Hunger Games, the video game. I mean, that feels like a no brainer. Why doesn't that exist already? That'd be yeah, such a blast. That's great. Fortnite. No, it's not the same thing. This is like a this is a day long. I don't wait, kind of. I guess I feel like Fortnite did a Hunger Games thing. Didn't they? Yeah, but it's not it's as like what what Will's thing. envisioning is. This is a longer thing. It's like a campaign. <sighs> yeah, like okay. like you're one player. I don't even know if necessarily the other people are like other real people but it's like you're a player and you start and you have to like go to the cornucopia and like yeah or like try to build you know alliances and shit or you what district you guys be in uh you can pick your district but it's like that's kind of adjusts the level of difficulty no i'm saying what district would you guys be in um i mean in i feel like i'm like a seven guy like just kind of like like middle of the pack i'm like 12 probably just because i'm like a rugged hero which one is Rue? I like do not remember the yeah. premise. Rue's like eight, maybe. Do There's guys, a no Rue is. You don't remember the premise of the Hunger Games? Well, not like in depth. <laughs> it's like Fortnite. Why would yeah. I know about Fortnite? <laughs> it's like uh, I don't even want to get into it. It's a battle royale. All right, I got. But, but I want it to be realistic to the Hunger Games. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> I got Odysseus's quest. Sick. Uh, you can play. It's a GTA style game, and you can play as uh, Odysseus, Zeus, or Penelope. Yep. And um, you basically, it's like the same events that happen in the Odyssey, but you can like roam the map so they will happen in different orders. And you have to That's like sick. encounter these things and figure it out. And it's fucking fun. Dude, just like open world ancient Greece would be a blast. Yeah. It's fighting Cyclops in a cave. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. So cool. I actually, my next one has. Yeah. Percy well, Jackson? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> That'd be fun too. Actually, it's not a Cyclops. Uh, this is similar to. One you said, well, it's just a One Tree Hill VR game. <laughs> you can be whoever you want and go through the seasons from their perspective. They are adding a cowboy Lucas Scott skin in the next DLC. That's so fun. And they also have a shirtless Lucas Scott. Yeah, DLC. I don't know who that is. It's cool. Is that, I was. Is that Chad Michael Murray? Yeah. yeah. I was texting with a, uh, you know, who the the Voldemort? no I was texting with a girl. <laughs> I, I, was, <laughs> I was texting yeah, was with I was texting with uh, with an ex girlfriend last night, and she was like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "I'm watching One Tree Hill," and she said, uh, "Chad Michael Murray was my crush growing up, and now I hate Chad Michael Murray." <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, all right, what do you got, Liam or uh, Will? Um, I've got Christmas spirit. <laughs> it's your your Santa. Oh. You have to deliver all the presents before the end of Christmas, but it starts like a few weeks before Christmas. So you got to oversee the production, keep your elves in line. Um, you have to oversee the reindeer games, and then you got to draft your reindeer squad. So, I mean, honestly, you can go with Rudolph, but it's like 
maybe it's smarter to just keep him as the exile mm. and you got to plan yeah. your route accordingly and you got to stop by each house perfect you have to kiss mommy um it's like yeah kiss mommy <laughs> yeah well because yeah i saw a tweet this oh, morning okay. that was like santa never goes to the next house he just fucks off like 80 miles away like he'll land at one house <laughs> go in there and then just like fucking yeah, like in neglects movies? the whole neighborhood yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right i got mounting everest um you start at like base camp on everest and on your way up you encounter all these different problems so like one of your one of your people runs out of oxygen you're like fuck, do we take him back down or do we just, like, let him die? Or, like, mm-hmm. And then you would get, like, there's more unrealistic stuff. Like, you'll run into, like, a Yeti and you have to, like, fight it off. And it's That's it's it's kind of, it's oh, almost, okay. it's, like, there are some high-energy moments, but for the most part, it's kind of, like, you remember when I got really into Flight Simulator? Yeah. It's, like, kind of like that. It's, like, a relaxing, like, all right, let's, like, just, like, see what Everest looks like on its way up. And then every once in a while, it's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're low on oxygen. Yeah. You gotta take it from your Sherpa and push him off the side of the mountain. Kid that, di- kid that disagrees with his autism score. <laughs> Remember when I got really into flights? <laughs> I used to take a I used to take a water plane like down to the Keys, and I'd find islands that like no one lived on. And I would just hang out over there. Sick. <laughs> it was fucking so fun. <laughs> that does sound fun. Um, horror, horror, so zombie survival game, but your character breaks his glasses two seconds in <laughs> and the screen is blurry for the rest of the story. It's, it's like really scary. Oh, <laughs> that would be that would be terrifying. Painful. That's everyone's worst nightmare with glasses is that there's a zombie apocalypse <clears throat> and you break your glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Like my buddy Shane's terrified of that. Yeah. Do you guys, neither of you guys have to wear contacts? No. You have to wear contacts, right? No. Your glasses are blue light? Yeah. Yeah. Do you? No. No one here does? We all have 20-20 vision? Nice. Good for us. I do, a, I do have a I do have an astigmatism. Do you guys ever like Ooh. driving at night? You Sometimes I like actually yeah. can't see anything. I'm like so scared to drive. Yeah, that my, sounds. My brother Sammy like should, has that. Like I have 2020, but I like went to the eye doctor and they're like, oh, you can get glasses to like slightly help. I'm dead at. <laughs> Wait, what did he, what? Say? What he say? Yeah, my brother Sammy has that. <laughs> <laughs> he does, and he would never wear his glasses. It was always like a point of contention with my mom. Mm. All right, what so do you got? Got rid of his car. I've got a snail's journey. You and these snails. Every fucking dude. episode, dude. He brings up snails He's every obsessed. episode. He's obsessed. Granted, I bring up like wizards Rightfully every episode. So, so like, yeah. But this is, it's it's a campaign, but it's just, inc- <laughs> like the tasks are just so like, like the whole thing takes place in, what have we looked up, how many, yeah. how long snails travel? They can, travel move, they can move like 30 yards in a day. Yeah. It's like painstakingly slow. So it's that's just, it. That's, yeah. that's actually a lot for a snail. Yeah, I mean, that's like for us, that'd be like, I've never moved for how big they are. Like, I've never moved the propo- the human proportion of that in one yeah. day. Yeah, so it's just a campaign that takes fucking forever. It's in, it's really boring. the trek points like six inches that way. And yeah, like, fuck. You're like, God, it's gonna take all night. Um, all right, I got Wario Kart. So it's like a, it's Mario Kart, but it's like the darker side, and it's all from Wario's <laughs> point of view. Okay. And like, you kind of slowly start rooting for Wario because you're like, He's, like, kind of gotten the shit end of the stick. Like, Mario's not that much better. People just think that Mario's bad because he wears a dark color and, and Mario wears light colors. But in reality, Wario's not that bad. Wah. And he's... Wah! 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 <laughs> Wah! Um, you know, they're not... Like, I always thought they were, like, their evil cousins. Uh, they're just their rivals. Wah, there's, no, there's no relation. Oh. Between Mo- Wario and Waluigi? No, no, between Wario and Waluigi and Mario and Luigi. Like, like uh, they're not related. They're just rivals. Are Wario and Waluigi related? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was video games that don't exist. Should we do... Guys, it's the best part. It's sayings six? Sayings seven? Yep. We're so in sayings seven. It's seven, yeah. Sayings that don't exist, part seven. Part seven. <laughs> Liam, start us off. A camel in a rainstorm. It's uh, someone who has oh. been like handed everything they they have, everything they could ever need, and uh, just like bored, unhappy. Yeah, just like a rich kid that just like romanticizes a life of struggle, kind of yep. type of guy. Mm-hmm. That's uh, really good. Yeah, I mean, it kind of, it's kind of like bowling with the bumpers on. It's uh, someone's been achieving a lot and. You know, it's clear that they've been kind of pushed yeah. and guided along the way. You know, someone's like, wow, look at what they did. And he's like, all right, well, he's kind of bowling with the bumpers on here. Yeah. I like that. I got flying a plane with a paper map. It's like, you you do not have what you need to successfully do this. Or like, like that. You, you didn't 
you didn't take the right steps to prepare yourself for something and you're like fucked now. I like that. I like that. Uh, he's a folding chair in a church basement. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's just a friend, oh, that's a friend that will be there for you forever. Oh, He's okay. never going anywhere. Nice. Wow. That is not what I thought that was yeah, going to be. Yeah, I thought that meant something else. <laughs> um, all right. I've got putting makeup on a mugshot. Oh. It's, I like that. Uh, that's great. Yeah, trying to you know act like everything's fine when, when you're in a bad spot. Yeah. I'm trying to gas up something that is no bueno. Yeah. I got taken your cousin on a date. It's like <laughs> that's awesome. It's like you're, you're technically doing something good, but it's also like, uh, like not right. In what world is that good? Like it's like you're going on a date with a girl, but it's your cousin. Yeah. So it's like, you know, yeah. I, I feel like you're presenting it as if, like taking your cousin on dates. Like yeah, you know, there's good and bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like I think it's like you're you're you kind of succeeded at something, but you did it in the wrong way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I got a bath bomb and a fishbowl. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> it's just uh, a guy who surrounds himself with people who are holding him back. Nice. I've got pouring a warm beer in a frosted mug. Mm. Cool. It's like, well, why are you doing that? It's you're, you're dealing with something so bad that, you know, not even that frosted mug is going to make it good. Mine's very similar. I got... Uh, Using a squirt gun on a house fire, it's Same. like there's no point in even, you're not helping, and the problem has become way too big for you to handle. I love that. Uh, I don't know if you've done, I feel like I ripped this from you, Rusty, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm wearing my cum sock. I, yeah. You had mine, a cum sock. Mine was, a, mine was you can't turn a sock puppet into a, or you can't turn a cum sock into yeah, a sock, sock puppet. puppet. Yeah. This is, yeah. But that one's different. Wait, was that a fourth one? <laughs> I have five. Oh, five. Uh, this just is keep going. Um, yeah, it's Sorry. just like uh, you're really uncomfortable. But you can't tell anyone why. Yeah, I'm wearing my cum sock. Yeah, the reason you're uncomfortable is really embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then my last one is can't keep living in a Minecraft village. Uh, it's just you know you have to allow yourself to move on and uh, get better. You can't be sad forever. Yep. I like that. God, that was good. Those were good. Those were great. Good I think I think we were low key on one. Fuck. Uh, potentially, perhaps we're goaded. Fuck. Are we goaded we already? Be, oh, great. Fuck. We might be God damn it. Uh, I thought we had way more way more episodes ahead of us before we got giant famous. I know. Awesome. Dude, we can finally move out of the Almost Friday TV or the Almost Friday podcast studio. Yeah, we're getting our own Playdate studio starting next yeah. week. Woo. Actually, that's not true. I don't want you guys to expect that next week and then we're still. We'll just paint the walls. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. Fly to Florida. Yeah, you oh, got. Yeah, he's got a flight to catch. I'm gonna go scour the streets for Parvati because I just finished that season she won. What's Parvati? She was. Yeah, she's out here from Survivor. She lives around here, and I just finished. She won. I won't say which season she won, but go go be. I just person. finished the season she won, so I I, I walked How to do you work. Know I took like an here? extra. She. I've seen her on Abbott Kinney before, but I didn't know really her story. Remember yeah. we saw her. Yeah, we saw her in Gooder. We were up on the balcony of our office, and she talking was talking the... about Survivor. Was she? No, we were. A oh, little we bit. were talking about Survivor. And then yes. We looked down, and it's one of the most famous fucking Survivor. Wait, contestants what's her name? How do I not recognize this name? Poverty Shallow, Cook Islands, Micronesia. Also, Heroes <laughs> versus Villains. So, Cook Islands <laughs> is the season where they separate them by race. Yeah, yeah she's which in that is one. insane. Oh, I love this girl. Yeah, yeah, she. Bad. I want it like right like. Like the idea that I could see her today after I watched her win last night is like, go like the Super Bowl just happened. You can go see Tom Brady walking around. The thrill of a peeping Tom right now is what you have. Yeah, I don't know. That you're makes it you're weird. Seeking. That makes. Do you guys remember Fabio from uh, from Survivor? I don't know if I've seen that season. Fabio is fucking electric. You gotta check him. There's out. a crazy the tr- the tribal council in the one I just watched. Like at the end, they asked she asked Parvati like, "What are you like in the bedroom?" Have you seen that scene? Yeah, I haven't that, seen it in a while. It's insane. One of the lady, one of the people goes up for their last chance, like ask a question before the vote, and it's like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you, Liam. Next week we have the holiday episode, and uh, if Lauren's feeling up for it, we might have a New Year's episode, right? Yeah, or an even more. It's an even closer to holiday. It's the twenty seventh. It's gonna be epic. All right, so we'll we love you, you guys. Wednesday. I will see you later. Peace.